Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at Inversion. Now this sounds like a game that comes almost entirely from the Gears of War design school, with, uh, you know, chest high walls, cover shooting, etc, etc. Except there's apparently some uh, gravity defying in this game, which is where the Inversion name comes from. Uh, apparently this game's not very good, so uh, let's find out for ourselves. Chapter, um, the first one. Checkpoint, the first one. Damn it. Difficulty. That doesn't even... That's a really silly difficulty system. Are we an experienced player? Ready to command gravity? I'm tempted to go high gravity just because I don't think it'll be very challenging. I say before I die a hundred times in this video. I always thought I'd die in the line of duty, caught in the crossfire of the endless gang wars or riots that were part of my daily life. But as a cop in Vanguard City, I was ready for it. Yeah, I was ready. I was one of the lucky people. I had a job, a wife, a child, a roof over my head. I could live within the specter of death if it meant leaving behind a legacy, a piece of me. But now, now I've got nothing. In a few minutes I'll be dead, and I won't feel the pain anymore. The pain of knowing that I couldn't, that I couldn't even save her. things I've seen, that I've done, they all seem surreal, like some faded memory of another life, but this pain is all too real. It's all that remains of what was once my life. Alright, so we don't really know what's going on, but people are shooting in the minigun section. It's always good to start your game off with a turret section. Especially if it's a turret section where we apparently have infinite health. Luckily, miniguns never run out of ammo. Or overheat. It looks like we got a bit of destructible environments, but I'm guessing that's probably just scripted for certain sections like this. Alright, so I guess this is the guy beside us is shooting gravity at them. With that little energy ball that comes out. Just collapse the whole building. That'll solve our problems. Alright, I guess that was irrelevant to what's going on right now. still remember life as it was, before war even existed as an idea. Then they came and destroyed all that we had. They took our children as their own and made us slaves. Alright, now we're somewhere else where stuff is going to happen. Alright, how do I cover? Better question, how do I aim? Because, oh, somebody turned off the gravity. Do I not have a way to aim? Do I just have to shoot randomly? Because right trigger pulls up our, like, the energy thing. I think this thing. must be our fate. Our right trigger, uh, we have right mouse. fools for ages, unaware of our own false existence and our inevitable demise. We should have seen this coming. Maybe we could have stopped them, but now, now it's too late. The sacrifice we sent to you, praise our lords. Take the 
this offering. More shall send with you prepare die. Sometimes I wonder if my life before this chaos ever really existed. Or if it's just something I've imagined. Maybe this inversion of my life, this hell oh, that's title drop. my world upside down, is just part of some warped dream or delusion. Whatever it is, it will all be over soon. Soon enough. In about six hours. It's kind of a dumb place for a late title card. So that happened. Also, I'd like to point out that Vanguard City is a really like dumb video gamey name for a city, especially one that apparently gets attacked by aliens. Wait, Davis, where are you going? Leo, I told you already. I gotta run home for a minute. You can wait here if you want. I'll pick you up on my way back. I got nothing to do with you, partner. I'll take a ride with you. I also wear my badge at all times, even when I'm not in uniform. So, I couldn't wait until the end of the day. Oh, wait! You were going home for a... <laughs> Sorry, you think I can take a hint after all these years? Hey, I could, uh... I could wait in the car while you do your thing. That's really funny. I'm not going home for, uh... Today's Layla's birthday, you know, and uh, we might not make it home till late, so I want to give her a present before bedtime. You know how it is. No. I really don't. You're going soft on me, man. You're even wearing a bracelet. That's a friendship bracelet. A friendship bracelet? What's that? The new fad? Something like that. So, you know, you give it to someone you love and wear one yourself. That's what all the kids are asking for. Wow, and you're wearing one too. You do have a sensitive side, after all. Uh, being a dad changes things. You start looking at the world a bit differently. Yeah, but sometimes you can take it overboard. Like that picture you got on the dashboard. I mean, how many convicts do you think are going to intimidate with all that happiness staring them from the front seat? Convicts? I'm not worried about intimidating cons. They know what I can do if they act up. Watch it! Wow, that was close. We should follow that guy. What do you think? Nah, just radio it in. The traffic guys will take care of it. Yeah, I know. Priorities. We got a press to drop off. The plainclothes cops Station normally arrest people in their undercover cars death. with, you know, no separator between the back seat and the front seat. And then the truck exploded. Why did the truck explode? Hey, did you hear that? Let's grab the weapons. We have to find out what's going on here. You're right, let's move. You know, we just keep a, a shotgun under the dash. Not even in, like, the trunk or anything. It was kind of jammed under there between the pedals. You couldn't see it in all the other cutscenes. Alright, can I figure out how to aim now? It's not shift, it's not control, it's not alt. It's, uh, not middle mouse. I'm running out of buttons. Oh. We got a roadie run button. Maybe we just can't aim. Or maybe they remove the crosshair in hard difficulty. That seems a little silly, but maybe that's the case. We don't need to be accurate. It's a shotgun. the weirdest button to pick for your aiming. You shot a civilian. Did I? shooting civilians, Russ. Sorry. Heat of the moment. Why the 
belongings, nothing. They don't look like anyone I've ever seen. Never seen a gun like this before. Who the hell would need guns like this? That just looks like a G36 with a bunch of paint on it and a uh, we should call knife taped to the back. This might be citywide. I left the radio in the car. I'll go back and see what I can find out. <laughs> Alright, so now we got a knife rifle. I hope we can stab somebody with it. Am I being shot from behind and I'm actually going the wrong way? My B inversion. Wait, I want to go stab- oh, okay, that's a bad idea. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Nope, not restart chapter. Start checkpoint. Alright, that one was definitely on me. Oh, let's do this again. Skip. See if I can avoid causing collateral this time. That's how it's done. So these creatively designed aliens just look like beefy convicts. Also, they look like Gears of War protagonists with their random chunks of metal for armor. Okay, we can definitely stab people with this, but I have to get close enough to one without just sprinting at them. Get up to my apartment and call C10. I want to make sure that Kara and Layla are safe. Okay. What the hell? This thing is gravity floating. milk. There's a glitch hey, Leo, in the matrix. We gotta go. Look, I am a great magician. How did you do that? I just put it there. Go! Go! First we tried sending in foot soldiers, and that didn't work, because two cops killed our five guys. So we decided to blast the city with gravity instead. Streets destroyed. Let's get to my apartment and call HQ. There's a back entrance. I hope we get gravity grenades or gravity bullets at some point. Current objective is over there. For some reason we have double taped magazines, but I can't tell if it's actually affecting our reload animation. Okay, that time he dropped it. Let's fire once and then reload again. Oh, he actually does swap it. Surprising amount of detail for that specific thing. Clear 
guys look less beefy than the other guy. I'm sure that was completely unscripted. Let's go. We need to hurry. I'm guessing this game Let's is go. built for co-op, like Gears of War, and that's why there's two of us. Oh, I never did like the trend, though, of forcing you to have an AI partner if you're not having a. Uh, buddy playing with you. I prefer the Halo route of, hey, there's just suddenly a second one of you here. No explanation is needed. I think these guys have helmets. Our partner here is an observational expert. The ground is shaking, he says. I should have turned on subtitles. Kind of forgot to do that. Okay, I am going to stab this guy. I really want to. Oh, I'm going to blow up. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, shit. I just rolled past the guy and then got punched out of my roll. Should have just stabbed the first guy I saw. At least there's, you know, checkpoints everywhere. We just got shot out of cover. What good is this cover? I mean, I know realistically, you know, cover doesn't really 100% protect you. But this is not realistically. Alright, so then two guys can come over here. Take cover behind this explodable car. Hope they don't shoot it too much. Watch it. At least that shaking affects them too, so they can't just like shoot you apart while you're standing there swaying in place. But how did you get past? Up the stairs. I died wanting a single embrace. How the hell did this get up here? Don't know, but we gotta get upstairs. Path is blocked. Let's find another way up. Oh, ragdoll bones are always weird. Jesus. The hell was that? The whole building is falling apart. We need to hurry. I'll be right behind you. Seems like a bad place to tell me to use a melee attack. Really? Fucking walls are terrible. Oh. I stabbed him, but he stabbed me better. Thanks, game. Thanks for telling me to melee that guy. Because I'm not smart enough to think for myself, and I will immediately follow your order. I really do want to see me stab somebody, though. Okay, so don't stab this guy. Yeah. Some of them. We can only 
pick up pieces of. It's like shitty broken English or something. Guyanese aliens. I'm hoping that at some point soon we get our gravity gun thing. That's the only unique feature of this game, and I hope to show that off at least in a video. Come on, we can't pass this way. It's like there's a sudden inversion. As soon as you step in the fire, you start freaking out. Oh. Ouch! Ouch! Ah! Ah! Check your corners. Ah, put this out! Get out of here. Whoops. Ah, Enemy on the stairs. Your place is on the third floor, right? We're close to yes. Let's go find it. Why is the beach ball not just floating? Did you see that? No. What was I supposed to be looking at? Kara! Kara, do you hear me? Lena. Somebody Lena. She's murdered Lena. me dramatically Lena. under Where this light. She's... They... They... No, no. Kara. Caroline, open your eyes. Open your eyes, baby. Come on. Come on, Carol. Please. Oh, shit, thanks. Watch out. And then some dick shot some gravity at us. So they really do just speak weird, broken English, like you would in some of the English-influenced territories in the world. Places like Jamaica, Guyana. But, you know, these guys are supposed to be aliens, I guess? So, I don't know. A day later and they've already invented Tram 18 wheeler thing. Who are you? What do you want? Oh, Jesus, that guy's eyes. Davis, get up. Move, Eric! Friends, 
Pay me in food unless I unload my cargo. Move. Gotta meet quota. Seriously, did they like scrap together this prison camp in one day and cover everything in like chunks of metal to make it look all scrappy? Shit. Are they all doing that? This place looks like it's been here forever. What the hell are they digging for? We'll talk later. We I'm gonna start skipping cutscenes just to get to the gravity. Months. It must have been just a few weeks. As those around us seem to lose their hope and their sanity from the isolation. I thought about Layla. And the hope that she had somehow survived kept me going. Even if I knew I could never escape this place. Until one day Fitzgerald arrived. And we learned that it was not lost. Move! Move the cage! Go! Yo! Lock cage! <laughs> and then they immediately beat him into a pulp so that he knew who was boss. No wonder. You act pretty good. What the fuck are you looking at? Who the hell are you anyways? We're the same as you. We're prisoners. We got grabbed during the invasion. Same, eh? How many of these fuckers have you killed? A few. But I haven't even got started yet. Well, I'm just about done. My name's Fitzgerald. I've been out in the streets with a gang of fighters since this thing started. I was fighting alongside my brother. He... he didn't make it. Fighters? I'm Davis Russell. This is Leo Delgado. Sorry about your brother. You said you were with a gang of fighters. Were you fighting the Ludadors? Yeah. We were going after Kilterra, their leader, when we got ambushed outside their base. I'm not sure anyone else survived. Was there anyone else in the city? My child. My daughter is out there. Are there any children? Any little girls? Children? Not a single one, you know? City's run I by little girls a child now. Since the invasion. I think they might all have been taken to. Over cave! Yes. They're coming back. Get your bunks. Shit. Move, Gus! Work again! I don't like this day. I really don't like this. Up the cat. These are some like really non-helpful objectives. Do the things that you are doing right now. What is that? What is that yellow thing? like this trend in modern games where it's like here's the part where all you can do is walk you're not allowed to sprint or anything you have to walk around and look at the environment we created I mean you could just have this be a cutscene it's not really interactive if all you can do is go in a direction
The fat guy just kind of sounds like he has a speech impediment. Hey, Goblin Hook. All right, now we got our gravity guns. What the hell are we supposed to be doing down here? We'll find out soon enough. All right, We've got the power of gravity. Careful! The hell is causing that? Path of blood. Try using your uh, grappling to clear the passage. Try using that thing that you just got strapped to you, and you have no idea how to use to do the thing. Seriously, how does he even interact with this? Does he just think about it? How would he know to think about it? We're stuck here. No way out. At least it didn't land on us. Come on, we'll find another way around. Get back! It's all gonna fall! Shit, it's destroyed. There's no way across. Hey, look up. Hey, maybe we can somehow create a bridge. Alright, so we have different kinds of gravity. We got the thing that just blasts it and makes it float. Then we got this one which pulls it down. I don't know what that did different, but okay. Hey, this gravity can make things heavy too. Is that all it does is it makes them lighter or heavier? That's walking not really gravity manipulation. Let's keep walking. Get the little inversion symbol on our backpack. I guess our gravity thing runs on power, and that's what we're picking up right now. Clearly not the right way to go. Ouch. Why was there even a path up there? Must be why we were sent down here. To take care of this. All right, let's go. Oh, I can't throw bodies. Are we going the right way? I feel like we're walking around in circles. No, there's no worse than that in the camp. Maybe we can find a way out of here through these tunnels. What is that supposed to be? Uh, what? I threw the goo at the other goo and it exploded? Was that the fuel from the fuel tanks? Why did it explode when I threw it? Get us through it! Let's go. Are we going the right way? 
feel like we're walking around in circles. Both ways are the right way. No, there's no worse than being up in the camp. Maybe we can find a way out of here through these tunnels. This is a really silly run now that we don't have a gun. So many bodies. You think that thing could have killed them? That's what they kill them! Yeah, kill those guys that we sent down into the caves for some reason with our fancy magical device. How the hell are they firing us? Don't know. Maybe it's a test. Maybe something is freaking them out. Use your grab like D! That's the only The most dangerous game, Inversion. Hey D, these graphics would come in handy back in the force. The passage is clear. Let's move. Hey D, look what they got here for me. Oh, Jesus. It's like a mass grave down here. This must be where they dumped the bodies after the invasion. Yeah, there's like eight of them down here. D, I don't see any children here. So there's hope. Can't get through this. Let's find another way. Look at that mass grave. That's like three rocks, bodies in one grave. Use your grappling feet. Clear the path. Why don't you use your grappling? You have one too. Don't make me do all the work. Hey, look. That should help. And then a robot came out of the ground. An unknown robot. What if I make it heavy? really uh, simple boss. It's just a ring of cover and shit to throw at it. junk on the ground at it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the tip. That I should throw things with my grab link. At the dirt robot. It's gone. Oh shit. Hey, you hurt. Let me take a look. It's nothing. I'll be fine. Let's just get out of here. No. That looks bad. It's nothing a little gravity can't find fix. To stop the bleeding. Fuck. They found us. Don't move or stay. Don't move. I think they'll shoot if we move. That hurt. What's Nando? What if what not the kill be? Take down box. Move! That hole. That's our way out. We'll be back here soon. Find out what this all leads. You know, the next time they lock us in this mine and try to kill us.
So, we got this alien race called Luchadors. Sorry, Lutadors. Anyhow, I think that'll do it for Inversion. Uh, you get the idea. It's a Gears of War shooter where you can gravity gun. Because no one has had the idea of copying the gravity gun from Half-Life in a third-person shooter. Anyhow, I've been Shadefire. This is Inversion, and I'll see you all around.